welcome. Hello. Wow, this, this has got a wide range. Um, so before we start, I just want to thank uh, Gamma, if he's here, for the hander pants I am wearing today. He was the one that bought me these lovely hand warmers. So thank you, Gamma, for these uh, proper hander pants. <laughs> I know, very sexy today. Very sexy. Yep. The music is louder than me. Okay, one second. I there we go. That should be a little better. Anyway, Gamma. Thank you, Gamma, for these lovely hander pants. Yeah, so today we're going to be making chocolate, and then I have um, have these wonderful little molds of battle axes. So we have um, the appropriate chocolates. And I also got, like, little, I don't know, trees and lozenges and for things and bears and uh, hearts and uh, stars. So maybe we'll make some hearts, hearts and stars. So yes, thank you, thank you for the for the compliment on my flower, my flower. Got some meat. I'm sorry I'm late. What happened was um. I found some meat in my basement like two days ago, so I decided to throw it in the fridge and then I um, took it out for the stream and uh, I wasn't really careful with it and it was carbonated and I didn't realize so when I opened up the bottle, the lid literally flew off like across the room and scared the absolute poo-poos out of me. So, financial irresponsibility button isn't working. I don't know. Oh, I don't have alerts on this, on this scene. Hold on. I'm sorry. Um, I knew I was forgetting something. Word box, why are you so big? There we go. There we go. You're gonna cool the chocolate on the windowsill again? I don't know, hopefully. It's not quite as warm in here as it was that one year. Um, I was also slightly more responsible this year and I have a, an actual chocolate melter. <laughs> instead of the candle thing. The candle thing did break uh, and I couldn't find a replacement that wasn't like a stupid amount of money and or not made for chocolate. So we have an actual chocolate melter here today and I do have a little cooling rack. So we, we stepped it up. We're a little bit more professional today. So is ramen okay? Ramen is in fact okay. Yeah, so very fancy. Very, um, so this is the chocolate we're gonna be melting today though. So, um, and we'll get the chocolate all set up and then I'll start answering the questions in the marshmallow. I did get a few like last second marshmallows. Unfortunately, I didn't get them in the stream. Um, not even joke. This, uh, this was gifted to me by a uh, lovely, um, member. So we'll be using this to melt. Uh, yeah, so uh, it does have to, there's a small case, there's a small case of uh, it potentially not being uh, YouTube appropriate, so I must be a little careful with it, uh, mind you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna preheat this while I talk so it melts the stuff faster. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll just, we're gonna let this heat up just a tad. Sus. It's a high small, high small. You like my hander pants small? They're from Gamma. Gamma was kind enough to grace me with these wonderful fingy gloves. So, yeah. Yes. It's warm. It's getting warm. Honestly, I love those. Yeah. Actually, this is so it's got it's fancy. It's got two settings. It's got it's got melt mode and it's got warm mode. So we we'll got to put in melt mode. Were they owned by him before? I. Well, there's no skid marks, so there might be skid marks by the end of the night, though, with all the chocolate handling. I'm not sure. <laughs> These will be single forever. No, 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 no. It'll be fine. Okay, so, well, this warms up. Oh, I forgot it had... Okay, hold on. Uh, hmm. One moment. It's got a little... Yeah, uh, it's got, one second, hold on, just, it's got extra bits, so I can't cover both ends. 
Just give me one second. Hold on. Hold on. That's fine. Just, I can, I can cover one end. I can't, I can't cover both ends. It's fine. There. So, uh, I must sleep now. Taking peanuts to the bed tomorrow morning. Oh, I hope peanuts okay. Have a good sleep. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna, um, this is gifted, uh, you know, there's a big, I was just waiting for it to come in the mail, and there was a, a ding-dong at the door, and, uh, sure enough, here it was, just at my door, like a sausage pizza, just sitting there, waiting in. <laughs> so we'll just, uh, we'll just take care of, like, this side, you know, because they're looking, like, really, uh, you know, we'll just cut into it, you know? You know, we'll just, we'll just, there. But you know, we don't need to worry about it. It's fine. So we'll let that melt. I got a little, it's come, I got a little spatula. <laughs> we'll just, uh, no biggie. No biggie. And then, you know, you kind of... Everyone forgot V's history. <laughs> yeah, so then you just kind of slice it up. You know, so it melts fast enough. Oh, maybe I should get the mic down there. Maybe we can get some ASMR chocolate. Hold on a second. Let me turn the mic up. <laughs> Are those wax melts? <laughs> those Damn, I know! How do you guys feel about this so far? <laughs> I'm gonna melt all of it and then turn it all into chocolates because we'll just slide that all right in. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. It's fine. Okay, well, now it's kind of going rogue all over the place. It's hard when you can't control your, your small men. Oh no, I'm getting tagged in things. <laughs> Sorry. Let me just, uh, I'm just, we're just experiencing things. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just letting you guys soak it in. Just soaking it in. Alright, let's go here. More, more, um, sausage cutting ASMR. I'll be quiet. Hopefully it doesn't leave like uh, skid marks on my hand or pants, because that would be unfortunate. <laughs> Nothing like getting skid marks from <laughs> from cutting your uh, your sword. You know what I mean? It is truly a Valkyrie's way to uh, turn a man's sword into a, a proper battle axe, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I'll bring this back up here. I'm sure you guys have had enough ASMR. I know I know ASMR makes some people comfortable. I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable with this kind of stream. Gonna let it all slide. Hey, we're getting a little messy here. This is a little, uh, there we go. We'll just slice it in half the short way. There we go. There we go. There. I can melt this and feed it to my loved ones. <laughs> Not uncomfortable at all. I should have gotten like a something to clean my clean this this uh this this thing's leavings on my hands. There's there's been leavings on my hands. There we go. Now we just let that melt. We'll answer some questions while that melts. There we go. 
Um, I think what I'll do is I'll check the marshmallow after I, if I run out of all of them and grab any new ones that happen to pop up. I noticed a few new ones, but I didn't have time to get them. Hmm. Paper towel would be good. No, mouse, no. But I don't seem to have one. All I have around here are white shirts. I'll use my, uh, there we go, we're fine. All right, so I'll just bring this, I'll take a sip of this. You have a spatula, I do have a spatula. No, I wouldn't want people uncomfy, of course. All right, we're gonna try to do this without dumping this, there we go. And then we can kind of keep, we can keep an eye on this while this melts and, uh, Look at that, that's beautiful chocolate. That's very high quality chocolate, it's very shiny. I think this will go wonderfully as our battle axes. Almost peen media. All right, so we'll just let that continue to do its thing. We'll let it, should have got paper towel. That's all right, that's all right. So. Let's look at a couple of questions. Some of your dating, your burning dating questions that you asked via Marshmallow. For those who are able to follow directions. All right, so first question. They're in, uh, they're in no certain order. They were just however they saved, so. Reading is hard. Yeah, I noticed that. So, first question. You guys can hear me all right, right? The jazz seemed to pick up a little bit. Let's lower that down a little bit. I can't read. Just do a little stirry stir here. All right, so first question. It's in Japanese and I choose not to follow directions. Well, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> His car gets a flat on the way to dinner and turns out he has no clue how to change a tire. He's calling his father. What should I do? <laughs> We're already starting with the banger. Hello, Jason. <laughs> Leave. You missed the best part. Oh yeah, I was I was chopping up the chocolate. You missed the best part. Change it for him. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you can change a tire, I'd say change it for him, and then maybe teach him how to change a tire. I'm always, I'm always of the mentality that if you're going to own a car, you should know how to do basic maintenance on it, though. So, like, I don't know. That would that would be a, a, a point off in my book. It wouldn't be a deal breaker, but I think it would be a point off. But, yeah, I would think uh, change, if you can change it, change it for him. Maybe while making eye contact or just, like, teach, it, teach him as you're doing it. I don't know. Would that be offensive to a man? Extremely painful to watch. I don't know why. It was. <laughs> it was just a schlong. We didn't break TOS. Throw the lug nuts at him. Yeah, I should have got a spoon. That's okay. We're gonna wing this. Um. Yeah, I would say I would say change it for him. Perhaps teach him. And then at least if he gets offended and breaks up with you, one, you know that the man has a weak ego. And two, you can, you know you left him in a better place, because now he knows how to change a tire. <laughs> Next question. What fandom slash band can't a person dating you be into? Hmm. I don't really have, like, a cutoff, I don't think. Like, I guess... I don't have, like, a specific fandom or band... I don't think, because I think everyone can have their own likes and dislikes. Perhaps. Can't she six nine? I mean, if you wanna, yeah, no, I don't. Island boys. <laughs> Just keep that, keep that shit away from me. If you start pushing it down my neck, we're gonna have a problem. Like what you like, but keep that shit away from me. <laughs> I think if they watch too much hentai, like if their fandom was hentai. I'd have an issue. <laughs> or like a 4chan user. <laughs> Do 
find too much? Like, if you have to ask that, it's too much. If, if you guys are asking me... If you guys are asking me how much is too much, it's too much. I'm not apologizing. <laughs> the chocolate's almost melted. This thing is very fast. It's a lot faster than the, the tiny candle. Like, any? Are you wearing a hoagie? A hoagie. Like I said, if you have to ask, it's too much. I have emotes is stopping me from expressing how much I'm laughing. No, no, no. Gamma said a hoagie hoodie. So Gamma, Gamma has concerns about the little hair bits. Yep, he's concerned about the hair bits. I'll make sure there's, there's a wire under here that goes to my headset, which is what this tipped on earlier, so I want to make sure I don't put it on there. Look how nice this chocolate- this was high quality chocolate. Thank you, Ivan, for sending me your ding -ling so I can melt it. That was very kind of you. <laughs> this is better than Reddit low bar to beat, but it counts. The blimpy hoodie. I think like a maybe. I know for like bleach. If it was if I were bleach and the, like it was for the last question. Oh no, for this question. I think for bleach, if it was like a subway fandom, he would have an issue. <laughs> okay, next question. How much cheese do you need to win someone over? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, uh, like two weeks ago, a week ago, I would have answered that differently than I would. Than I would today. Ah, uh, there is such a thing as too much cheese, and I have found that out. I have found out how much too much cheese is, and it's five pounds. It's five pounds of cheese. So I think one pound would be a good amount to win somebody over. He is lying now. No, no, no. <laughs> I got sent. I got sent five pounds of cheese, and I've been desperately trying to eat it before it goes bad. So I feel like one pound is enough cheese to win someone over. <laughs> I think this is melted enough. So I think I'm going to try to get it into some of these molds. We're going to test. I don't really have a plan for this part. Yeah, at least one pound, but less than five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to try to do it this horrible way, so we'll see. I don't know if this is going to... I don't know, this seems to be working. I don't know how fast this is going to set up, though. Like, I don't know how hard this is going to get. You know, like, we saw how hard it was, but I don't know how hard it's going to get after it's been, um, taken care of. You know what I mean? Oh boy, making a mess. That's a good question. How long does it take to get hard after it's been eviscerated? That's a good question for the masses. These can be very pretty, I think. Arrgh! What did she mean by this? I like how there's just like like a wood chopper axe, just like a normal axe. We're making a little bit of a mess, but I think that's okay. We can have a little mess as a treat. <laughs> Things like these tend to just make messes if you rub them too much, so. Guys, Thursday we might be streaming on Twitch if I get banned off YouTube! <laughs> Uh, I think what I can do with the spatula then? The mess is the treat. No! I think you're being a little too um, optimistic with that thought process. So I can kind of scrape it and then clean it up a little bit. And then... I don't think anyone would say the mess is the treat. I mean, I don't know, maybe some people, but I feel like 99% of people would not would not agree with you on that. There, nice and clean. Nice and clean. Sharp. Sharp edges. A little spicy. Is this loss? No, I don't want to get banned off YouTube. But I don't know, we're about to find out. Is it cold enough today for you to use roof cooling? I don't think I'll need to. Um, but we'll we'll find out. Try to do this axe now. 
So this is a wood chopping axe here, I think. The other one looks like a hatchet. Which I guess you could use to chop wood, but like this one has a longer uh, haft. Longer, uh, you know, so you can get more... <laughs> More oomph behind it, you know what I mean? We're simply just transforming uh, the sword into something more useful. Is all we're doing. That's all we're doing. I do have chocolate chips, so if this goes uh, really fast and we still want to melt more chocolate, uh, I do have chocolate chips, so we can still we have those as a backup. This is messy. It's really nice that you can melt it with that pot. Yeah, this is a lot better than the candle. <laughs> the candle had its advantages as far as like the shit post, but this is much, uh, this is much nicer. There we go. All right, I think we're full. So we're gonna let this, I'm gonna stick this on warm. It's so messy on my table. I'm glad I got this little thing. So we're gonna let these set up and just see how it goes. Um, it's a lot cooler in my office than it was last time, so. What the fuck kind of chocolate are you eating? Um. Organic. Six, all I got is three. Six inches, yeah, it was six inches of solid chocolate. I thought they were hollow, to be honest with you. I didn't realize it was solid chocolate. So it's kind of nice, it worked out well for this. I don't have any chocolate, but I do have a special big treat. Well, there you go. How come you get six? Now I just wait to become a big treat. Well, you'll be baked, Bleach, that's for sure. Alright, next question. That is nice, a lot is hollow. Yeah, you can definitely tell it was, it was high quality, um... Parts. <laughs> Alright, next question. How do I explain that I'm not interested in exclusive dating, but would rather date multiple people to decide who I'd be exclusive with? Well, actually, you would just say that without the first part. So you would just say, you go up to the person and you would just go, I'm not interested in exclusive dating, but would rather date multiple people to decide who I'd be exclusive with. Easy one. Literally, <laughs> just talk. And then, and then... I don't know, that person might not be happy, but who knows? <laughs> it's kind of a common thing nowadays, I think, to not be, like, exclusive right off the bat. You just... I'm a playa, baby. Yeah, I don't... I feel like that won't go quite as well. It's no longer V-Day here. No! I wonder if these would set up faster if I put them, like, on a tray. I don't... I don't know. Airflow. <laughs> So yeah, I would. I th I think you would just tell them that. I think that's an easy one. <laughs> you know, just be prepared for the fallout. <laughs> Cause not everyone. I think that's like a newer age thing is to, like, date, and not be exclusive. I think I think there used to be uh like an understanding that like if you're if you're dating like you're exclusive, but I think that's changed in the past couple decades. It is a silicone mold mold. But yeah, I don't know. You just you just say something. Don't like don't don't Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's something you gotta be straightforward with. Gotta be straightforward with something like that, I think. <laughs> Next question. Good evening, B. Just wanted to ask a simple one. What's a good date night for you? Oh, that's a good question. You know, it's pretty normal to be competing for two or three other guys because they like to pick, so I'm also not a fan. Well, I mean, that could have been a guy that asked the question. Guys like to play the field, too. Just cheat, and it's normal, and it sucks. Well, I don't necessarily... I think that person that asked that was trying to not cheat, I think, was the thought. Because if they were just going to cheat, I don't think they would have asked how they would explain it. Hello, Tater. Hello. Guys, when asked, they just do it. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's super uncommon now, though. Most relations I had had a moment where they would, we are now going to be exclusive. Yeah, I think I think people like to date multiple people, and that's not like. I think when they say dating, they don't mean like, be, intimate with to be a ninety-year-old grandma. 
Um, I think that just means going, I mean, at least for me, I could be wrong, but you know, like going to get coffee or like going out for a dinner, you know, nothing super duper serious. I see you're doing some cooking. Yes, uh, Ivan was kind enough to grace us with his chocolate. So. <laughs> Hi, just hanging for some minutes before my night shift to work. Hello, Haas. Well, that's just courting, not dating. I feel like uh, that's like... I feel like the word courting kind of fell out of um, use nowadays, and it's been replaced with dating in that sense. But yes, it would be essentially be courting. And then when you go exclusive, that would be like boyfriend, girlfriend. Because I think if you go... Because obviously, like, if you go on one date with someone, they're not your boyfriend, and they're not your girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like, if I go on a date with someone... Like, if I go on one date with someone, they're not my boyfriend. It's coca. <laughs> It's his coca, his caca. Can we bring back courting? That's that's literally what we're talking about. <laughs> I cross, so I cross you up and snap an angle. Yeah. What if I'm really good at dating? Well, then I would assume you would get more uh, second and third days. Oh, they're like really good. What does that mean to be really good at dating? What does that mean? I've never been on a date, so okay. <laughs> good evening, we just want to ask. Okay, so what's a good date night for me? That's hard. I like to do, um, what is a good date night for me? I guess if it's, so if it's with someone I don't really know well, I think dinner would be fine. Like a short date, like coffee or dinner, just to, so you can like talk to get to know the person, like something short. But if like we've like went on a couple of dates and like we're going like balls to the walls before boyfriend and girlfriend situation, I think going to some place like um, oh god, I'm gonna sound like I'm ninety, like a museum or something. Like I don't know, I like going to movies, but you don't really talk during movies. I like going for walks. It's like, you know, like a walk on the beach. <laughs> I like walking and talking. So like a hike or something too. Something that involves walking, I think. Zoo is very good. I love the zoo. I would see that I love zoos. And I would absolutely love to go to zoo. I think I'd be very distracted though. I love animals. Otter likes the zoo, imagine. What's my preferred cuisine? Definitely like Asian Japanese food. Treadmills at the gym. You know what? Maybe. Yeah, I think if I knew the person a bit better and I was okay being sweaty in front of them, we could do treadmills at the gym. I, I don't know. I like walking and talking. <laughs> it's, it's probably because I feel like I got to be moving and I get nervous if I sit too long. Don't treadmill race at the gym. Sushi, right? Yeah, I do love me some sushi. I don't know if someone go for an ice cream or a walk. A movie's not for that. Yeah, I think I think a movie would be a horrible first date. Which is kind of weird because movies have kind of cemented themselves as first dates. I don't know how that happened. Oh man, these might have to go in the windowsill. Alright, we're gonna put these to the sign, I think. We're gonna let these cool down. I don't know if they're gonna have to go on the windowsill or not. We'll uh we'll fill up another mold though. I have a little heart mold, so we'll use that. We'll make a mess. I didn't get all the crazy colors this year either. You should do something for your first date that's easy to have a conversation. You get to know each other, such as museums, hike parks. If it's going well, you can add food afterwards. Yeah. I know some people get nervous uh, eating around people they don't know well. But I'm always for coffee because I love coffee too. So if someone's like, hey, let's go coffee. I'm like, hell yeah. Medieval times? Yes. I would love a uh, day to medieval times. I've always- I've never been. I would love to go. Ah! Tenth day D&D? &D? Yes, let's go. No. I don't know. I think I'd have to be dating someone for a long time to play D&D &D with them. Because D&D is how I work out all my messed up. Like... D&D <laughs> is like therapy. That's where all the crazy comes out. And my D&D &D characters. So I don't know if someone like I just started dating we could do we could do D and D. I wonder if it'd just be easier to like pour it out like this. Oh sweet Jimmy's. Let's go. Okay, that was relatively controlled. 
That was more controlled than using the paddle. Ren fair. Yes, Ren fair would be good. I would go for a Ren fair. That'd be nice. Because you can uh, walk and talk and get a turkey leg, a giant turkey leg. Let's go. Although that's, again, that's eating. I don't mind eating in front of people. I really don't care. Like, I'm one of those people where someone's like, oh my god, you're like, you, you're ordering that, you're eating kind of a lot. I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna finish this and you can, you can jump off a bridge. Because, goodbye, you know. LARPing in the woods first wait, date weirdos. Yeah, see, that's too much for me. I couldn't LARP. LARPing normally involves camping. I expected Ren Ferris, so it would have been an awful day. Just, hey, let's go to your work. Oh yeah, that's fair. Alright, next question. I don't- I don't mind LARPers. I just wouldn't want to do it as a date. Also, like, people tend to swap... Like, swap... Relationships at LARP stuff, so... I don't know. A little sketchy for me. Should I ask a girl out if her memes are better than mine? Yes, absolutely. You gotta wife that- you gotta wife that girl up if her memes are better than yours. That's wifey material. Oh, that one's really full. I think they shrink when they get cold. Yes. Look how well this is going. Guys, nothing horrible has happened. That's really weird. Oh. Oh, Jimmy's. It's getting a little messy, though. Oh, an extra full heart. Ah. Booby, you can have this one. <laughs> it looks like shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Why you gotta trigger the flags, V? I don't know. This one looks like it has diarrhea. <laughs> it has peen diarrhea. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Next question. If you screw out a LARP camp, do you... Have to cast protection on yourself to not get pregnant. Uh, no, I would just use a condom every time to not only prevent pregnancies, but things like STIs and STDs. Alright. I set up a romantic date night with candles and a fancy dinner, but I burned dinner before the bedroom... Before the bedroom. Before the bedroom caught fire. How do I recover from this? You... Okay, I'm assuming... <laughs> I'm assuming that the candles were in the bedroom and you weren't cooking in the bedroom? Is my assumption? Do you have life insurance? <laughs> this is a wild question. Um, how do you recover? I think if you perhaps uh, decide to take them out for a succulent Chinese meal... Uh, perhaps you could recover. I guess it depends how burned the bedroom is. Like, is, if your house is burned down, I don't think you're gonna recover. But perhaps you can- you can play the sympathy card. Maybe. You know, obviously not ask them for money, but maybe like some emotional support. You know, people like giving each other emotional support. Invest in a fire extinguisher. Yes, as for a fire extinguisher as a Valentine's gift. <laughs> I'm being on the fire. Sympathy, yes. Ah, wow. Dang, this person sounds like they have my kind of look. Fancy dinner. I burned dinner before the bedroom. Damn. Yeah, I would say try go try for the succulent Chinese meal. That would be my go-to. That would be my attempt. You can't go wrong with Chinese food. You can get bonus points if it's like really late at night and you like eat it in the car. With, like, the chopsticks you get from the Chinese place, I think. I think that would be really cute. It was, like, really late at night. And then you're both, like, just eating your recovery Chinese food in the car. I think, because then there's, a, you know, there's trauma bonding there. Trauma bonding's very powerful. <laughs> eating in the car? Yeah, you know, like, you're both sitting in the front seats. And just, like, eating and talking. I think that'd be cute! You guys don't think that'd be cute? Nope, not the greasy ones. I have never had Chinese food that wasn't greasy. Trauma bonding's why I have Navy friends. Exactly. Exactly. I have trauma bonded with all my work people. 
Let's see. These are not setting up. I think... I don't even think it's cold outside is the issue. It's not cold outside. Let me see. Hold on. That's not the weather. Where's the weather? What's the weather out? Sorry, my extra camera is in the way. Oh, it's raining out. I can't even use it because it's raining. Life is truly cruel. Well, if they're getting really, if they're really not sitting up, I guess I can run them to the freezer, but it is, uh, it is in fact raining outside right now. This may be my question, yes. Zoe, what? You can call us the best bonding experience. See, Robo knows. Robo knows. I'm, see, I'm very simple. Like, I like, don't get me wrong. I like the fancy dinner with all the pizzazz and stuff like that, but like, that's maybe like like a anniversary, you know, like a big anniversary thing or like one fancy thing to do for fun. That's not like something that's like all the time, you know? Fridge, not freezer. No, I'm going to stick them in the freezer. Yeah, this time last year, I remember when I made the chocolates last year, it was like, like 15 degrees outside and now it's like in the 40s and raining. This has truly been a weird year. If someone takes me out to dinner, I don't know why. Why Why would you be worried? Is it just like the eating food thing? Eating a car would be a nice day if I knew them for a while. Like, not like a first date, but a nice, cute, relaxing evening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be a little weird on a first date. But if you burned your house down, then I think then I think there's the, the, the rules change a bit. Hindsight's pyromaniac. Not a fan of crowds, I guess. Oh, I guess I can see that. All right, next question. Before I do the question, do you guys want stars or 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 bears? Or I can just save the chocolate and then perhaps these will Let's just save the chocolate and maybe eventually these will set up. I don't know, it's not even like attempting to set up. Maybe I'll uh Bears? Okay. <laughs> they call for bears! The bears, it is. You guys win. Bear like my ex. Oof. He arrives on a beater that's full of fast food bags. What should I do? Run. Run. If a dude arrives, or, or a lady, I don't know. You know, this applies to anybody. They use he. Um, If your date arrives and they didn't bother cleaning out their car, that means they don't uh, have any intention of impressing you. And I'm not saying, like, impressing someone is, like, necessary, but it also means that they don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying they have to, like, put on their most expensive clothes and, like, get their car detailed by a professional, but, like, the bare minimum to keep your car, like, not full of trash, I feel like is a good indication that, like, the more they get comfortable with you, the worse it's gonna get. What if it's a nice car full of fast food bags? Run. Because then they're money laundering. Clean your car, yo. Exactly. <laughs> clean your car. My car is clean of crash, but the mat is dirty. I mean, like, mats aren't that big of a deal. Especially in winter. At least around here, they get covered in salt and dirt and gravel. The mat, I feel like the mats, the mats are supposed to be dirty, so I feel like the mats don't count. But yeah, if they're not if they're not even trying to impress you on the first date, then that means when they get more comfortable with you, it's only gonna get worse. So that's a big red flag. Like I said, it doesn't have to be like insanely clean or anything, but they're like the bare minimum. The bare minimum to clean the bags out of your car. I'm covered in chocolate. <laughs> what happened? What if they arrive in a fast food wrapper full of cars? That would be crazy. I would still say run, because that's a little odd. I I would... I don't know, ma'am. I just don't know if that's someone you'd want to tango with. My car smells like trees and there's tools everywhere, so that's a shame. I think... What kind of tools? What kind of tools? Because that matters. What kind of tools are in your car? I mean, yeah, the mat is dirty because of sand and gravel. See? Chocolate rain! I give up to drive. I know how and almost fell off a cliff. 
No, stop taking drugs. I do not tango. Tools go in the trunk. Ratchets, a jack stand. There's a jack stand in your car, not in the trunk? It's not in the trunk? Why is it not in the trunk? So here's my issue with having tools and stuff like in the car. I have a hatchback. Oh, okay. I guess, I mean, if it's in the back, that's fine. My, my only concern with having tools in the car, and this is just like a general thing. This isn't even like, like a date thing, but like you have to be careful because if you have tools in like the dry, in the cabin, um, and your car rolls, those become like, um, flying hammers of death. You know? I got a grizzly from Tarkov in my car. Do you even play Tarkov? We ball, yeah. We ball with the balls of death. Shrapnel is the word. I mean, I guess. They become Viking hammer straight to- Yeah, exactly. That would be- Like, I don't think it's like- It depends how cluttered they are, too. Like, if you just have a bunch of ratchets just laying in, like, your wheel well- Or in your foot well- I think that's a little, um, sketch. But, like, if it's, like, in a case or if it's just, like, a couple ratchets just thrown in the back seat because you got off of work and just yucked them back there before you went home, I think that's fine. You know? I guess you're not gonna like my bedazzled steering wheel. Tater, is is that picture of the, <laughs> of the steering wheel with all the gems on it to center yourself? Is that your steering wheel? I'm on a car. First learn how to fix it. Oh yeah, Haas, you missed the first question. It was uh, if if the tire goes flat and he can't change the tire and calls his dad, what do you do? Throws ratchet in the back seat. But I called shotgun. Oh yeah, everything is in cases. Sometimes the socket goes under the brakes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just a socket here or there. Just nothing to worry about. I always have an umbrella in the back seat and in winter I also leave an ice scraper. Oh yeah, see that's fine. That makes sense though. And those are normally like more plasticky. It's not like a heavy ratchet or like a heavy wrench. Alright, next question. Best place for first date besides movie and a dinner. Okay, we kind of covered this one. I would I would say any place where you can like talk to the person you're dating. Um I would, you know, as much as I love the zoo, I would probably not do zoo as a first date because I have not seen a zoo. That's not true. There was one zoo I went to that was free, but it was very, very small and didn't last very long. Um, zoos are more normally like super expensive. So I probably wouldn't suggest a zoo for a first date just because of that. Um, but yeah, I think any place you can talk. I would say, like, going for, like, a walk is nice. If you can find, like, a really pretty place to, to walk and, like, look at stuff. Um, obviously, if it's if you're, like, going for, like, a hike or something, you gotta figure out if they're, like, a nature person. Take them to the range, see if they know basic firearm safety. Bro, no, that's so dangerous. <laughs> I had a friend back in Asgard, and her husband did not explain to her how to shoot a shotgun. And she thought it would be cool to just, like, hold it out, you know, like, movie style with one hand. You know, and, like, not not butt it up against her shoulder. And, he, and you know, just be cool and, like, do the one-armed shotgun shoot to, like, show off. You know, and impress her hubby. And she fired it and it broke her wrist. It snapped her wrist. Yeah. I know. Uh, luckily, luckily he felt incredibly bad, as he should have, so I think he repented for his dumbass mistakes. <laughs> yep, yep. She, she snapped her wrist. <laughs> like, I think, I think, I'm trying to remember, I think she said it was, uh, this bone snapped, and then this one got, like, shoved weird. I don't know. It was, like, not, like, the cleanest break. I don't have money for first date because I want something expensive for the expectation. Yeah, I mean, you know, you gotta know who you're dating. I don't know. I would imagine... I guess this is my thing, right? Like, if you're asking someone out on a date, normally you would know something about them. It's like, at the very least. Um... So you would know what their expectation of a date is. And if, and if, you know, 
their expectation does not meet what you would like, then I guess there's just no date. But that's probably a good thing then. You know, getting getting rejected for a date isn't isn't necessarily a bad thing, you know, it just saves you a lot of time. It's my thinking. Yeah, guys hitting their girlfriend's big guns with no explanation seems like a thing that needs to stop happening. Yeah, I agree. I think the first time I hold it, I held a gun. So the first time I held a gun was not uh, a boyfriend or anything. It was actually a friend's dad. And he was very, very hardcore into firearm safety. So he he would not let me hold the gun with ammo in it until I had like held until I could hold it properly without ammo in it. Yep. <laughs> so I, I luckily avoided it. Although I feel like if I don't know, I don't think I would listen to anybody. You know, like if someone handed me a gun, they're like, here, just shoot it. I'd be like, can you show me how to shoot it? And they'd be like, no, 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 just shoot it. And I'd be like, OK, well, I'm not going to shoot it because you're not going to show me how to shoot this. You know, it's like a respect for the firearm thing. <sighs> I haven't had a gun yet. It cannot be trusted. Well, like I went to um, I went to a range a couple years ago with a, some British friends who had never held a gun. And the range people, I don't know, range masters, I don't know. It was like a gun store and a range. And uh, they were very cool because they let them shoot, but like, and they didn't like make them take like a, a ridiculous class or anything like that. But you know, they like stood by and made sure they were handling things properly and were like explaining why you wouldn't hold a gun this way, you hold it this way, and you don't want the rack to pinch you and blah, 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 blah. So. Screw that. I know hair triggers exist. <laughs> Another thing I would do is a bazooka you can do in Tunisia. My safety glasses can end in much worse. Literally anyone who haven't seen use a gun before should be taught how to use it. Trust but verify. Yes, exactly. You know what I'm see. Ah, you guys, there's a lot of scary stories going on in chat today about dads handing kids guns. Dang. The military, you likely haven't handled a firearm outside of hunting rifle if you are brave. Yeah, neither of them had handled. And uh, we were shooting pistols. So. I, I, I was... Oh god, I don't remember what model it was. I'm really bad at memorizing models of anything. Like guns, cars, anything like that. But I, was I know it was a 9mm, but... We used to shoot guns sideways when we were drunk. LOL. Dang, that's incredibly unsafe. <laughs> I got my first handgun. They insisted on three minutes of safety. Fake bullets to learn how to clear it safely. I mean, so I have a story about that. If you guys want to hear a story about clearing safety. <laughs> Which is honestly kind of an embarrassing story, but it's kind of funny. But it could have ended very badly. Uh, so I had a dog, and her name was Holo, and unfortunately, as she got older, uh, she developed, I don't remember what it's called, but it's essentially the dog form of dementia, and it caused her a lot of anxiety to the point where, like, she would, um, nip at her arm, and would essentially shave the fur off her arm. Uh, no, I did not shoot my dog, guys. No, 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 no. I did not shoot the dog. <laughs> I see where you're going with this, but no, I did not shoot the dog. But, um, so one day I came home from work. It was a long day at work. And, uh, the dog had this weird shave spot on her leg, her front leg. And it was right where, like, a vet would take blood. And it was a perfect square, or, like, a perfect rectangle. Like, very sharp corners... It looked like someone shaved it with like a shaver. That's you your mom putting your own gun in your face because she's no, not my gun. Ugh. I know where the story is going. So I'm like, so naturally in my brain, right? I see this dog it has a, a, a missing square of fur and I go, there's someone in my basement who shaved my dog's leg and drew her blood and stole her blood. That was my first thought. So I went upstairs because I'm I'm alone. I'm home alone. I'm alone. I don't have. I'm alone. Go upstairs. Get my rifle. <laughs> I get the rifle. Load it. I load it, and 
and I decide to go clear the basement to make sure so I'm like clearing corners of the basement. I jumped to conclusions, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that was my first thought, but that was my first because it was such a perfect square. <laughs> Talk <Talking> about <laughs> I'm not even making this up, and that's the worst part. So I go, I clear the basement, everything's fine. No weird dog vampire in my basement, right? Oh yeah, I was checking corners. I know it's, uh, yeah. Sounds like Clay's Nightmare B. <laughs> so I go, you know, I bring the gun, go to put the gun back, and I go to unload it, and nothing comes out. I go, what? And I'm like, oh shit, what, what, did something jam? So I like, release the magazine. Well, yeah, no, no, I released the magazine first and then I went to clear it. So, I, you know, I like look, you know, it's on, safety's on, you know, and I look and there's nothing in the chamber. And I like look and I pull the rack, you know, I pull the, the charging handle back and I look and there's nothing in the gun. There's nothing there. So I never, I never fully racked the stupid AR. There was no ammo in it. I would, you know, if someone would have been down there, <laughs> nothing would have happened. I got fucking down. It was the worst! I felt so stupid! I was like, oh! I felt incredibly stupid. So I put the gun back. <laughs> but, yeah, so that was, uh, that was good practice, uh, clearing a room under stress, however. <laughs> yup, so that was my... <laughs> That was my dumb, dumb gun moment. This is why you get a bayonet. I, I mean, at that point, it would have just turned into a club. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, but next question. <laughs> I have like a little bit of chocolate left, so I think I'll do. Um... Do I have one of these with a heart on it? I don't. All right, one second. Maybe we'll do a star. I'm just trying to use up the rest of this chocolate here. Oh my gosh, big messy. Big messy hours. Big messy. Whoa! I'm not off camera, am I? I feel like I have the camera like way better set up this time than I did like every other time I have a hand cam. V, the bayonet. I second chugging it. Wait, what's happening? Gum club in fat situation. I- no, there was no AI- uh, no, there's no bayonet on it. Like I said, it would have just turned into a club. It would have just been like... <laughs> turned into a big old club. Fill a shot glass with the- chug the chocolate is hot! It's hot chocolate. It's very hot chocolate. I would, but it's hot. These, um, axes are not setting up, though, so I think I might actually have to put them in a cold situation. That's not the window. Because I do have, for when- Ooh, I'm making a big ol' miss. Um, I do have a little extra bit to decorate them when they're done, so. Bottom scraping ASMR. That sounds lewd. So, we're not done. When they're done, we're not done done. If that makes sense. We're gonna turn this off now. I think this is a solid amount of chocolate. I'm gonna bring this to my family, to my, my all mother's house and feed it to them and it's gonna be really funny and I'm not gonna tell them why and I'm really excited about it. It's just me war criming again. <laughs> done, done, done. Frying pan. I have a shovel and I use it off and I'm a fucking heavy monster. I just don't want to- I'm scared to take these downstairs. Like, I'm afraid they're gonna dump everywhere. He goes through another alignment <laughs> shit. Um, okay, let me see. No, they don't know. No, 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 no. There's no way they know. I don't- I wish I had, like, a tray. I could carry these down so I didn't have to do, like, multiple trips. Oh yeah, that's not gonna end well. Maybe we'll just let them hang out for a moment to, like, solidify a bit more on their own? 
perhaps? I don't know. Let me see these. Oh, they're kind of setting up. And we'll just give them a little more time, and then when they're a bit more solid, I'll feel a little bit more confident taking them, taking them to the fridge. All right, time to get up and get ready to sit in the classroom. At least our hosts give us free coffee. Well, that's nice. Hello, Drifter. What did your mom think the chicken video was for? I mean, they know about this, but they don't know about the chocolate. I don't... I mean, I guess I could go get a baking sheet. That would probably work. <laughs> Let's do another question while they kind of set up then. have... Oh. Couldn't be me caught like, shut up, Ivan! <laughs> Alright, next question. Hold hands on a first date? Uh, if I like them a lot, yes. Which I know some of you will think is very lewd, but... Oh, Dad is gonna see this and be upset -y. No, uh, I blocked him. <laughs> I had to block him when I moved over to YouTube. Uh, it sucks, but it was- it had- it had to happen. Look at Pregante. <laughs> if I like them a lot, yeah. Hand-holding. Everyone's hands are always so sweaty. That's weird. Who's all dad? All father. All father, my dude. All father, married to all mother. Yeah, well, the issue with all father is for some reason he thinks it's super funny to post my videos up on the TV when we're having, like, family time. You know? Like, you go over to your parents' house to do family, family things and he thinks it's really super funny to put my streams up on the TV and then talk about... How I should be camping and recording my camping or doing bathroom tours instead. So I just decided to block him. So. If you like someone that she will hold hands again. Yes, Fubi, that's how you get prego. Here, my folks don't even know I do any of those bathroom tours. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm not doing a bathroom tour. My. So All Father is obsessed with YouTube. Like. To almost an unhealthy amount. And uh, for some reason, he thinks that, like, if one person does a street, like, does YouTube videos and, like, they're successful at it. Like, if I do those kinds of videos, I'll be successful at it. It's so, like this one person did, like, a bathroom tour of their tiny bathroom in Tokyo. And then, like, it was, it was well-received because the person had a lot of subscribers to begin with. But then, you know, like, tiny bathrooms in Tokyo are kind of interesting. So he's like, you should do a bathroom tour. <laughs> so that's... Do underwear gloves get wet when you hold hands? No, but this one, nope. They both have skin marks now, though. So, scam one, there you go. Well-loved hander pants. <laughs> I should wear these for the uh, birthday stream too, I think, when I open up the presents. I mean, they aren't all that interesting. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think like Japanese bathrooms are kind of interesting, but if you see one, you kind of see them all. That'll wash out, unlike the paint. I should find those gloves again. <laughs> Where did you even get those? G Wonderful Gamma sent them to me. So they're well-loved hander pants. I think eventually I should just wear them all the time so like they start getting like worn out, you know, like around the crotch area. <laughs> like as they do. They get really thin. You know? Oh no, this, this little bear got a little messed up here. Let's see if we can try to scrape. Scrape stuff. I do miss the sink tank in my heated seat, so kind of a weird topic for making chocolate moments. <laughs> Hi, Allspark. Wear them till they fall off, as men do. These, I think, yeah, these are like men undies. They have the little crotch thing. Bear surgery. But yeah, I don't know. It gets a little frustrating because every time I go over there, all father likes to tell me what I should be doing. <laughs> so it just kind of, it kind of gets old. When you get to my question, let me know the reply in DMs smile. No, I know which one is your question already, sir. I, I guessed, I figured it out and I have an answer for you. Some men don't have a little crotch thing. 
She knows about the escape hatch. I thought they were for circulation. <laughs> I don't trust non-creators telling me what to create. I mean, it's... I mean, well, yeah. I mean, there's that, but it's just... My uh, dad doesn't get the whole anime. <laughs> he, uh, he, um... He calls all anime hentai. But then there's this awkward moment where I don't know how it got up on YouTube, but it was on YouTube. Um, I, oh God, I don't remember what anime it was for. It was one of the newer one. It was it, it was an etchy anime, and like he's like God, he's like he's like here, I'll I'll play anime for you because you like this. So he put it up on YouTube, and it, like it was super lewd. I mean, there's like upskirts, there's there's like you know questionable uh, cleavage shots. You know, it's very very uh, not appropriate. <laughs> And I was like, holy dad, turn this off. Turn this off. All father. Use your magical remote to shut this shit down. And and he's like, what's the problem? What's the problem? And like, I look, I'm like, he's like, what's the deal? I'm like, D -d 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 this is not. No, I don't like this. He's like, well, this is your head dye that you like so much. I'm like, dad, there's like, she's, she's grabbing her boobs on the thumbnail. Like, you knew what you were clicking on. You saw this. No, I wasn't redoing the heal healer. And now it was another isekai anime. Another etchy isekai, which is like, doesn't narrow it down at all. So that was a little rough. <laughs> Why well, should it make sure before you turned it on? Yeah. It's fine. I don't know. It's one of those weird things. Like, I don't think uh, my parents will ever get it, unfortunately. Like, it does make me a little sad. Because, you know, like, I see, like, uh, like, Callie, like, Calliope Mori, like, she'll do, like, um, streams with her mom and stuff. And, like, I wish I could do stuff like that, but I'm never gonna be able to do stuff like that. So, it kind of makes me a little sad, but it is what it is. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what the anime was. <laughs> I don't know. It was not interspecies reviewers, I know that. I'll be your mommy V. Well, yeah, you've already... Well, uh, Fooby, we're gonna do... Uh, let's see, what did Callie do with her mom? We're gonna do uh, one of the board game nights then, and I wanna do a karaoke then too, and um, I think there was like a wine tasting stream, so we'll have to do that too then. <laughs> Yo, what? Meat review? Oh, you keep telling me to do a meat review. We're gonna do the next question. Let me see how these are setting up. Let me see how the bears are doing. What are we at? Oh, oh God, we're only at an hour. Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay, these are still very liquidy. All right, we're gonna do one more question and we're gonna take a tiny break while I try to rush these down to the fridge. <laughs> and then we'll come back. Hopefully good salami. I'm not really a fan of cured... I shouldn't say that. I like cured meats. I don't, I'm not a big fan of like summer sausage and the, the like. Wine tasting. She is a Karen. It's true. She does. She do like her wine. All right. What would you want your date to cook for you if you could have anything? That's super easy. It's Katsudon. <laughs> I switched the laptop from mobile to see what's going on and me just out here with the feet bait you didn't see my feet before i'm just trying to relax okay i'm just relaxing are you not relaxed you can put your feet up too it's okay i'm just out here relaxing <laughs> just gnawing it like an animal i'll eat a whole summer sausage oh god i can eat like a couple slices of summer sausage but i think it's the spices i'm just it's, it's too much what type of katsu chicken or pork uh, probably pork. I like both, but I think pork. Uh, my favorite is like when you get like the crisp, the crispy pork, right? And then you get like that. I love eggs. Um, I have a mild obsession with eggs, which is kind of a problem because no one else likes eggs. So I like buy a dozen eggs and like I'll be like, hey, best friend, come on over. I'll make food and we can like use up my eggs. And then they're like, no, I don't like eggs. And I'll be like, okay, f okay, other friend, come eat eggs with me. And then they're like, nah. And then I'll be like, Oh, mother, come eat eggs with me. And she's like, I have chickens. I, the eggs came from me. I have too many eggs. No eggs. No one likes eggs. 
I'm gonna eat eggs. Hmm. Just say it. I hate eggs. Fubi hates eggs. That was like the hardest part about living with Fubi was her hate for eggs. <laughs> eggs are literally delicious. So like when you have the katsudon and then you like cook an egg with like all this, you like kind of poach the egg in the delicious sauces and then you have like the the, the onions and it's all mixed in with the <laughs> It's all mixed in with the rice. Oh, so good. So good. Like, so good. Eggs suck. Well, nuclear, you went down on my like list. I love eggs. I love eggs. I love hard boiled eggs are great. Poached eggs are great. Fried eggs are great. I love eggs. New egg roll in Discord now. No! Everyone gets it except Fooby. So I can fight you. Ah, bleach! Bleach! Yes! Yes! Bleach! Yes! Yes! Thumbs up! Yes! You katsu curry udon. That sounds good. Find anything you can put butter in, you can put an egg in it too. Yes! Chicken tuber likes eggs. I love eggs. It's really funny because all mother breeds her chickens based on what color eggs she gets. So like if I had chickens personally, I would pick about how cute the chicken is. Like as a chicken. But she picks the chickens out based on the color of eggs they have. I literally don't know that people didn't like eggs until like middle school. Yeah, that's weird. I love eggs. I used to love scrambled eggs. I'll eat scrambled eggs, but they're not the best type of egg. There's better eggs out there. You can have these hand gestures in the hander pants. I know. I really wish when I had the 3D model that the leap motion tracker works better. Yes. Eggs are eggs are top tier, top tier egg status. So, yeah, so I think it would be Katsudon. If, if Katsudon's too weird, because I know some people aren't into that, like, Asian food. What would be, like, a normal European-type white person dish? <laughs> Hander pans do stay on during hand-holding. We have to be semi-modest here. Speaking of sensors, VTuber question V, where do you normally have your camera positions? Like right in front of you? Isn't it in the way? It's like right in front of me um, under my monitor. Mainly make scrambled because I'm lazy and it's good enough. Scrambled's good. Like there's nothing wrong with scrambled, but like there's better ways to make eggs. But you're right, scrambled's easy and I, I can see why that would be your preferred method of egg. Chicken breeding meta. Yeah, I would just breed like the cute little, like the goth chickens. The goth chickens are small. I don't know what the breed's actually called, but they have like black, black beak, black comb, black legs. They're black and shiny. And then like, those are goth chickens. But the best part is their tails are very thin and they go straight up. And they just look super excited all the time. And I love it. They're so cute. Eggs with hot sauce is all right. Egg fried rice is super easy. Three ingredients. Yes, egg fried rice is delicious. Oh, under that's a big brain. My dumbass has been trying to read with this thing being in my. Way. <laughs> I just got like a little dinky like table phone stand. Oh yeah, because I use an iPhone for my tracking. I don't use a cam a webcam. Spam fried rice is amazing. I do like. Uh, I haven't had spam in forever. I'm like a salt fiend though. I love salt. So like, I like salty things. iPhone supremacy. I literally only use it for VTubing. I would not use it through my day to day. Spam is really good in hot pot. I've never had hot pot. I would love to have a hot pot. Hot pot would be a good date. Maybe not a first date because you kind of have to share spit a little bit, but like a couple, like a third date or so, I think. Hot pot would be a fun date. Can't eat the eggs here because the army and their infinite wisdom undercooks the scrambled eggs and I can't stomach it. Yeah, egg water is not a fun time. I was supposed to go to Hot Pot in Chicago with a bunch of friends, and then literally everything under the sun prevented it, and it didn't happen. Oh, you can eat a sushi bar? I would also love that. Okay, I'm going to take a little break and run these to the refrigerator. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the webcam just for a moment so that I don't accidentally uh, punch my phone and end everybody's life. And I will be back in a couple of minutes and then we'll answer a couple more questions while these set up. And then I have some fun little, you can't see it, I have some fun little decorations for the chocolate. So, uh, everyone, hold your horses, go get a drink, take a potty break if you need to, and I will be right back. Hello, I've returned. All right. I don't know. Do you guys want the hand cam back even though there's nothing going on? I don't mind having the hand cam back. <laughs> yeah, the axes are, are setting up, but I luckily found space in my fridge for everything. It's very full. I really need to clean it. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, you guys are so nice to me today. <laughs> Is it because it's Valentine's Day and I got you a flower? 
There's more sauce on a Chicago pizza than real. I don't like Chicago style pizzas at all. Actually, <laughs> I was at an anime convention and we went to uh, Giovanni's. I think is what it's called. We went there and then there were a bunch of like Chicago bear stuff on the on the walls and then I was like in cosplay as Riku from Final Fantasy X-2 and I was like talking shit about the bears <laughs> and my nerdy ass cosplay. Super funny. <laughs> I got I got glared at. Be I resign? Fine. Fine. Unmod you. I unmod you. I don't know how to do it on YouTube. But I'm taking you off of Twitch when we go back to Twitch. Uh -huh. I need a new mod for my streams. Would anyone like to apply? Would anyone care to apply? Okay. Big Boar Enjoyer is going to be my mod now. Congrats. But you hate deep dish. It's gross. It's too much. I don't need like a full like gastrointestinal bloat when I eat pizza. Kami is freaking out. <laughs> is he? He's like, what have I done? I haven't shown shower today. Is that qualified enough? Uh, you should really go take a shower. I see what you're saying though, so maybe. But you should probably take a shower anyway. I think Kami showers regularly. I haven't asked. That wasn't one of the interview questions, but I feel like Kami seems like the kind of guy that showers regularly. So. Scrambled egg pizzas are pretty good. I can't eat those anymore. <laughs> My very first job as a Valkyrie, unfortunately, was slinging pizzas because they didn't trust me with dragging dead bodies around. So, uh, and it was like breakfast. We had to make back the breakfast. I had to make breakfast pizzas. And like, it was the like styrofoam, like fake egg stuff. It was just, ugh. I can't do breakfast pizzas anymore. I will not do seafood pizza either. <laughs> I just want sausage and cheese and onions on my pizza. I want the sausage on my pizza and the onions. And that's it. I don't want crazy. All stink, all shart, all shart. I don't get why people think there's so much more sauce in a deep dish. I mean, like, a deep dish pizza is essentially like a bready, ca uh, bready lasagna, really. Corn, mayo, and potato belong to pizza. No! <laughs> no! I don't like corn and things. I like corn. I like corn by itself. Corn is great by itself. Corn doesn't need to go on pizza. Corn doesn't need to go in soup. Corn doesn't need to go on mashed potatoes. Let the corn just be corn by itself. I like corn by itself. Corn can be popped. Popcorn is a delicious treat. You can't just make garbage and call it pizza. Wait, do you guys think if I put, like, if I got this and then I put corn, popcorn in it, do you think we can make popcorn on stream? That might be funny. I wonder if I have popcorn. No, corn does not belong in soup. I don't like it in soup. It's weird, because I do like corn. I don't have an issue with corn. I'll eat corn all day. But if you put it in soup, I don't like it. I don't want it in my soup. You don't think it'll get hot enough? I don't know if it gets hot enough. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. I don't know what the melting point of chocolate is. Corn and soup is good though. Ah, like I'll eat it. Like if I get like a tortilla soup or something, like I'll eat it. I'm not gonna like pick the corn out or not eat the soup, but I would just prefer the corn to not be in the soup. I don't have, I don't have actual popcorn to pop. I'm just wondering. Plus I'd have to clean. This thing's gonna be such a, like look, it's got sharded all over the side. What a romantic date we're having today. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next question because I feel like I have a lot that I haven't touched yet. Oh boy. Oh, this is a long one. Okay. You can only choose one. Let me read a book of your choice until you fall asleep. Stay up and talk in the dark about everything and anything until we become too tiredly incoherent 
Watch a movie until you fall asleep, but are regular, regularly supplied snacks by me. Um, okay, so this one's... I'm probably thinking about this too much, which as we've now established with the whole dog and dog vampire uh, story, I do that quite a bit. I think too much. Um, but since I don't know who this is and I don't know you, that I don't think I want to do any of these. But if we if we knew each other for a while, I think I'd pick the second one. Although, I do like falling asleep during movies, and I, I get denied that quite a bit because there's no one to fall asleep with. So, maybe the third one. I don't know. I do like snacks. It depends on the snacks. What's good, what's good movie snacks? Talk in the dark forever? Yes, yeah, talk in the dark until you die. There is no escape. And then I take your body, I take your soul to Valhalla. Yeah, you're right, Beaver. That's a good idea. We'll go with number two until you die, and then I'll take your, take your soul to Valhalla. And I'm actually doing my job. Ooh, and then it can be a tax write-off because I'm working while that's happening. Fantastic. That's a great good job, Beaver. Yeah, I like to talk. I don't know if you guys have noticed that or not. I'm a talker. I mean, that doesn't count as a death in battle. I don't know. I mean, at that point, you're fighting... You're fighting for sleep. Like Van. I mean, if talking, boiled corn and soup is nice... Is, oh, boiled corn is soup since it has water in it. I don't like boiled corn. I won't eat cream corn. Cream corn is disgusting. Chatty burb. I'm like... <laughs> the battle for love. Look, 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 look. You guys gotta understand. Like, the the lines have been blurred a little bit as a Valkyrie. Like, I have to, I have to start bending some rules. You guys don't, like, kind of jump into battles with axes and spears as much anymore. So, like, it makes my job kind of hard. So I gotta start, you know, making some exceptions here or there. You know, finding some legal loopholes. You know, stuff like that. But corn is soup. Corn is not soup. I like cream of chicken soup. I'll, I'll deal with cream of mushroom soup. If it's in something, creamed corn is disgusting. It's constipation. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, nuclear. I'll probably just let that one go. I probably won't take you for that one. Because it involves poop. New England clam chowder. I don't like a lot of seafood, so that one's gonna be out anyway. Not because of the uh, uh, cream bit. I'm not a big fan of seafood. Shockingly. I don't like fish. I will eat sushi because it's raw fish. Um, but, and I'll eat lobster sometimes, but the, the cooked fish smell makes me sick. Cringe. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not the actual fish itself. It's the, it's the smell. It's the cooked fish smell. Canned sprats? I don't know what the hell that is. You're being so base tonight. To be fair, you guys, you guys, guys, you gotta give me a breath. <laughs> okay, super fishy fish, and that smell is bad. You need fresh fish. I can't, like, fish fries I can't do because the smell will make me sick. It will make me vomit. It's, it's, it's really bad. I like the taste of raw fish, though. I like the taste of raw salmon. I like the taste of raw tuna, white fish, all that. I like the taste, but it doesn't, it doesn't have that cooked fish smell. So it's okay. But, like, um... I have never tried oysters or anything like that. I'll eat lobster. I've had lobster before and that was good. And then recently I did make cooked salmon, but I made it medium rare and I did eat that and that was good. So I don't think it's a taste thing. It's literally the smell. I get the cooked fish smell, yeah. Doesn't no canned sprats never been poor in Europe, I see. Nope, I have never been poor in Europe. Takoyaki. I would be afraid to... Oh, I'd be afraid to try takoyaki. I don't know if I could do squid or octopus. Oh. Never had catfish. If you get fresh fish to cook, it won't make that smell. Have a Nini! Nini Van! Thank you for coming! Oh shoot, Valkalix, I've been missing out on the stream. Oh my god, you gotta come here more often! Well, not here, we're going back to Twitch soon, so come, come back to Twitch more often. Fresh fish, they don't have that smell, like real fresh fish. Yeah, it's hard for me to get real fresh fish. <laughs> it's like chicken, unironically. Oh, really? 
I've been too scared to try it. Fish has been so like I back in Asgard I was I was actually like a really hyper picky eater. I didn't want to touch a lot of stuff. As I've as I've matured as a Valkyrie, uh, I've been trying a lot more new foods and slowly I've been like getting better. Um, fish has been a very hard one to get over though. Takoyaki doesn't have much of an octopus taste, so they're more like hush puppies, I guess. Like, yeah. Corn fritters! I do like corn fritters, going back to the corn thing. <laughs> Eat the takoyaki, V! There's no- the, the other thing is there's like no place to get takoyaki around here. So like if I got takoyaki, it would have to be like frozen takoyaki reheated. And I feel like that's going to be bad no matter what I do. I fear no food. Corn fritters! I've had deer brain. I've had deer heart. <laughs> so my God, my God, my God. I actually have some really crappy corn, so maybe I'll like corn fritters out of that. I've never had gator jerky. I've had buffalo. Buffalo's good. And I've had emu, which is not good. I would not recommend the emu. Gator is pretty good. I heard it tastes like chicken. So anyway, back to the question. Yeah, so I think I picked two. Although I do like snacks. If we could do two with snacks, that'd be solid. I, I eat in bed sometimes. I know, I know, I know some people find that disgusting, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, change your sheets after, it's fine. Your heart is only good if you cut it out yourself. I, I helped remove the guts, but that was a different stream we talked about that, and I won't revisit, I won't revisit that conversation just for the sake of everybody else in the stream. <laughs> but I did help remove them. <laughs> I was just at the other end. <laughs> but let's come on to the next question. Oh my god, it's so long. Hello, V. I have been having a little trouble dating someone who's actually older than me. She seems interested because we always use loving names to each other. But I actually haven't asked her to... I haven't asked to, to her if she wants to have something with me. What should I do? Greetings from Argentina. I love your content. Well, thank you. Hello. Hello, Argentina. Oh dear. Um, you know, if if it didn't say greetings from Argentina, I would have blamed this on Allspark. I think you would again. Like this is just communication. As as uh, if she's an older woman, I would say uh, she would probably appreciate the the communication and just go, hey, you know, I really like you and I want to have something with you. What, bro? Go Allspark, you say I'm like three hundred years old all the time. You call me an old lady all the time. So you would, it would make sense you would ask me a question about an older woman, okay? I just, I'm just, I'm slightly offended, you know? That you think I'm this old fart. You just think I'm like a cripple. That I'm like 90, years. do these hands look like a 90 year old woman? Huh? 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 Listen, I do get a hit on, oh, okay, so this is, okay, old spark, pay attention. Pay attention, old spark. Maybe he just threw in the Argentina as like a something to throw me off. I don't know. Is that rhetorically? Are you saying my hands look like a nine-year-old woman? I'm kind of a fa they're kind of like fat, to be honest with you. <laughs> they look they don't look quite as chonky in real life. <laughs> well, they do say the camera adds ten pounds, so. Uh yeah. I was gonna wear the lacy under things today, and then I decided to wear the mander pants. Rip, she's nervous now. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I think communication. I think that's a lot of issues people don't want to do what nowadays. Like, just tell people how you're feeling. You know, I know it's hard, and the chances are... You know, I mean, I don't know the people involved. Um, you also have to remember that uh, I would imagine at some point, like, old women just... I don't know how old... I don't know how much older. It could be like a, an 18-year-old and a 25-year-old woman. I don't know how older this is. But like, you know, perhaps she just likes to flirt. So, you know, just prep yourself for that, you know? I don't like Valkyrie is a thousand years. Yeah, I got like 3,000 years on you guys. So it's, you know, like technically, yes, I am an older woman in, in, that, in that sense. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, though. Like, Valkyries don't really date. Uh, you human males. So, it's, you know, some of these questions are a little difficult for me, but I would think if you just talk, you know, like if it were me, if I were the older woman, I would think you just need to have that conversation, you know? 
Do not call me grandma, I swear to god. Older is written older me. Well, yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I mean, it <laughs> sometimes it's just be work relationship like husband and yeah, because there's like work husband and work wife. Yeah, I'd be careful, but like you should say. I don't know. Maybe maybe take a step back and assess the situation from like a third perspective. I'm not saying ask someone else, but just like take a step back from your own feelings, and just be like, if I were an outsider looking in, what would I think? And then go from there. And if if you think it's still like good to go, then then talk to them. Yeah, I would say stay away from coworkers though. <laughs> don't dip in the company ink. I've never heard that one before. All spring picking up chicks at bingo night. Hey man, if they're old, then they don't they probably don't move around too much. They're easy to do. <laughs> <coughs> I just made myself die. Oh my god, he does pick up chicks at bingo. So what is here would you date be? Oh no 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 no! You're you're making a lot of assumptions here, Otter. You're making a lot of assumptions, bro. If they had bingo, they got money. Not necessarily. I've met a lot of old people with gambling addictions. <laughs> what the fuck, me? All right, next question. <laughs> when did I put? How long ago did I put the stuff in the fridge? I think we'll do like two more questions then we'll go get the stuff out of the fridge. When I was like one, my brother took me to the beach vacation. We didn't find out until many years later that he was invited by his teacher who he's... Well, thank you for sharing, Jaws. Cruises are a great way to pick up older ladies. I wouldn't know that. Not human accounts. The which god would you have dated if they were still alive? If you're a Thor girl, one of those Loki. No, uh, no, 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 not Thor or Loki. They're no, 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 no. They're too. They're both too. They, da, 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 da. They, da, 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 da. they have too much baggage left over from the whole Thor situation. Not um the whole Odin situation. No, no, no. Can't run. Yeah, I mean, I was. I mean, Boulder was the first one that popped in my mind, but I don't know. They're too cool to do. Definitely wouldn't wouldn't be Thor or Loki though. No, Loki's got a weird thing with horses. Like I'm a I like horses, but not the way Loki likes horses. I just can't get into that. No, no, no. We don't talk about Slipnir. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Slipnir's a girl. Freya. Mm. So if you guys didn't know. I don't know. I don't know how many this. I don't think this is a lot of uh, common knowledge, but the way Odin would punish Valkyries uh, sometimes would be to uh, force them to marry human males. So you guys are literally a punishment for us. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> the, the <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> I was a slim near a uh, female horse. No, hold on. I gotta Google slip near. That's slip near with a girl. I could be wrong. I gotta try near or female. Slip near in the fur of Asgard. Loki, Loki gave birth to slip near after turning himself into a female horse. A male horse. Oh, you're right. Okay. You're right. Drifter with the knowledge. Loki got pussied out. Loki, Loki got some, Loki, Loki got some issues to deal with. <laughs> Lore. Human or anything. Baka. No, I know Slipnir was Loki's a like child. I knew that. What would the right time to be to ask a girl out? I think like 3.30 would be good. Next question. 
What questions would you ask on a first date? Um... Probably p.m. and Probably not a.m. P.m. P.m. No, no, no. P.m. 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 What questions should I ask on a first date? I, that's hard. Like, I don't think... I think that was my question. Probably, come on! <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think you should have a list of questions going into a first date. I think that's kind of weird. I don't... Like, you should just go with the natural flow of conversation. You know? You like Warhammer would be like to build some miniatures. <laughs> you like eggs? <laughs> I'm not gonna. Guys, okay, yes. Someone please go on a first date and ask someone if they like eggs and report back to the class about how that went. Please, I'm begging you. Please. I will send you stickers if you do that. Please. 338 in text incoming me? That would imply you wanted to date me, Fubi, and we've already gone over this. <laughs> Next time I'm on a date. I can talk about eggs for hours. I think do you like chickens would be a good one. I don't know. Is it like I think like I think you would have to go over like the natural flow of I mean maybe like how they like to spend their time would be a good one. V <laughs> I'm gonna watch a chicken girl make chocolate. I'm not a chicken. You know what to say? I would totally call that bluff I haven't dated since. See? See? You best send those stickers now, V. I'll get a date tomorrow. Just talk her up about eggs. Please record it. Just quietly record it. Silently record it. I want to hear that. What if someone offered to cut your hair? I'd leave. Why would someone offer to cut my hair on a date? That's weird. Chicken or the egg? Technically the chicken. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I mean, like the basics. It's kind of a common sense thing, interest and things like that. Um, I'm trying to think of something that wouldn't make like an awkward conversation. I'm kind of like, cause like, I understand like I'm kind of an awkward person and I feel like 99% uh, of you are also awkward. So I'm trying to think of something that like you could talk about that wouldn't be awkward, but that's not like super intense as far as like interests go. But that's not like I did the weather out. Da ba ba da ba ba ba. I think I'm bringing the most important question on first date. Do you have a criminal record? No, 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 Osin. See, one day you will learn. You look up their criminal record before you go on the date. You don't look, ask them about it during the date. You look it up before. What's the Earth's primary difference? <laughs> yeah, jobs or hobbies. Name one person in here is awkward. Uh, Bleach2121, capital X, capital X. Let's card your date first. There's also that. Carding is... Yeah, ask them about something that happened, like, more than 18 years ago. And ask them their opinion on that. That would be a good first date question. You go to first date and ask if they like egg. Do it. I'll send stickers. Well, Fubi, look how many people offered to do it, though. I need proof that you actually asked that on your first date, though. You can't just, like, come at me tomorrow and be like, I asked this and da, 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 da. I need, I need, I need proof. I work on proof. Do you like toast? That's a good question. I like toast. And you can ask about what they like on their toast. And then you can talk about breakfast. And you can talk about, and then you can work in the eggs. Co question. What kind of proof do you want? I want to rec I want a voice recorded. I want a voice record. Record? Record their voice. I want to hear... <laughs> or if it's a text message. No, a text message won't, wouldn't really be a date, would it? But B, that's not legal in all states. Ah, uh, I think you can record their voice. You just can't use it in due process in all states. Well, you see, I was in chat with a weird Valkyrie girl and she told me I should ask my future wife about eggs and now here we are. Run a background check on too, you never know. Right? Exactly. It would put me away. I think, do you like toast would be a good question. 
No, some states won't let you record someone at all if they don't consent. Well, how are they gonna know? Don't let them know you're recording. Come on, guys! Come on! No, don't do anything illegal. <laughs> I'm legally obligated to inform you guys not to do anything illegal, and I hold no responsibility if you choose of your own actions to do something uh, illegal, because I'm telling you right now, don't do anything illegal. Yeah. But... How bad lady want those stickers, though? <laughs> Yeah, and send it to Poopy. All right, I'm gonna go with the chocolate because I think it's been about 20 minutes. And then while we're making the chocolates all pretty, I'll answer a few more questions. Uh, it says Poopy for a clip. Yeah, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn the mic off in case I punch my thing. Not the mic, my camera. And I will be right the back. Hold, hold tight, guys. I have returned, and the chocolates are back. This isn't a Shippo stream, <laughs> pee break. Yeah, no, I don't pee on the stream like Shippo does. You think after so many times he would just stop bringing the headset to the bathroom, but all right, so I'm gonna do the next question and we'll pop it, we'll pop these suckers out and we'll make them pretty. I'm not eating my knee, I'm licking it, it's different. What is your worst rejection given or taking? Because I can make it better. Um. Oh no. So I don't get rejected a lot. Just throw that out there. Let's see if these pop out. Looks good. Looking good. Butt jars unite war crimes. Um. I have rejected someone. Um. The best one I can think of is when I was still in Asgard. And someone asked me out on a date. At first, I did not reject them. I was like, yes, okay, yes, we're going on a date. I was so excited to be asked out on a date. No, I don't get rejected much. <laughs> um, implying that I even ask people out. Uh, oh, no, this one broke. No. Oh, I think I have to be more... Oh, no, this one broke, too. Okay, I think I have to be more gentle with these. I got a little too crazy. Hold on a second. Okay, this one broke. That's unfortunate. Um, but yeah. Uh, but I did reject someone. Uh, he asked me out, and then I said yes, because at first I was excited, and then I kind of, and then he's like, okay, well, let's go to, uh, let's go to see Jackass as our first date. I was like, oh. Um, Okay. I kind of sat and I thought about it for a while. I was like, dang, like... This dick chocolate's pretty good. Uh, I'm like, I'm not a big fan of a uh, date on the first... Or movie for the first date anyway. But then he wants to go see Jackass of all movies too. Yeah, I broke the shaft on two of them. So that's unfortunate. And this chocolate's melting super fast too, which is a little weird. Yeah, that's, yeah, right? That's quite a movie choice. I agree. <laughs> um, 
So then, like, it was, like, several hours later, and I was like, hey, um, on second thought, I know you wanted to go to Jackass, but on second thought, I don't want to date you anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's melting in my hand. So it wasn't even, like, I don't want to go see Jackass, it was, I don't want to date you anymore. <laughs> so we dated for, um, a matter of, like, th three hours? Yeah, they're super shiny, but they're- Whoa! They're also kind of greasy, and I don't know if they got cold enough. I don't know how warm it is in my office. I didn't think it was that warm. Yeah, it was kind of harsh. I feel slightly bad, but he also decided that Jackass was a proper first movie. So I don't know. I don't know how bad I really feel about it, you know? You can say you were dating if you didn't actually go on any dates. I mean, like, kinda. It was the shortest dating ever. Why are they so, like, they feel greasy. Ivan is- if I don't know if Ivan's in chat. Allspark, can you tell Ivan that his dick chocolate is greasy, please? Would be a good first movie? I don't know, that's hard. I like, um, honestly, I think like a scary, like if the person's into it, I think like a scary movie would be a good, something that like makes you think. So you can talk about it after talking, talk, talk during dates, talk, date, talk, good talk, good talk, good date, good talk, good date. I'm in chat, V. Okay, wait, who are you? Big bong, big boy, who are you? I don't recognize the name. Oh! Oh, you're big boring. Oh, I see. I see you like the 50 cals. I see. Yeah, you sent me a 50 cal. I didn't realize that was you, Ivan. But yes, your chocolate is your chocolate is greasy, Ivan. Have Nini, Allspark. Thank you for coming. <laughs> you have you have a greasy wiener, Ivan. <laughs> um, why is it so greasy? You guys can see the shinies on some of these. <laughs> Rip. He's like, oh no. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I like, so like, I like, um... I don't know. Something exciting. Something that's got energy. Something that you can talk about afterwards. Something that kind of pumps you up. I think. It's the coolant, man! <laughs> Free lube for his enjoyment. But like, why is the chocolate greasy? I don't know. All right, so what I got is edible, what's it called? Silver highlighter dust, edible powder. So I'm going to make, I can make these axes silver, which is super exciting. Trying to make the mute feel bad. I would love a good martial arts movie, but you hardly see those in movies. Uh, Ninja Assassin was really fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, the first time I watched that movie in theaters was, was was with Fubert. <laughs> Which was really funny because we were the only- Woo! We were the only girls in the theaters and I remember I laughed really loudly and then someone else went, Is there a girl here? <laughs> it was really funny. <coughs> Alright, we got- Here, I'll let you guys take a better look at it. I don't know, I gotta be like those makeup- Makeup people. Um, this is my only clean brush. I cleaned it with soap. So, hopefully it's okay to eat. If these all melt, I'm not gonna be able to feed them to my family, unfortunately. That was so funny. I was so, so going, is that a girl here? Which made me laugh for. So we're just gonna paint these little axes here. Woo! Wow! That's super pigmented. Holy crap, look at that. I didn't think it was going to be like that. I wonder if I'll make them look less greasy. Just going to paint these guys. Yeah, so I think, I don't know, something exciting or like action-y, I think. It also, you know, it also depends what you, you know, what the two of you like as a movie too. Some people, uh, I know some people like uh, romantic comedies. I think romantic comedies are cute. Um, but I think they're more of a cuddle on the couch kind of 
movie and less of a like first date movie personally. But that's just me. I haven't watched a romantic comedy in a very long time though. It's <laughs> cadmium. Keep forgetting that you and Fubi are actually local. We aren't now, unfortunately, but we were. We used to be. We just discovered the best Warhammer paint. Yeah, guys! You guys can make chocolate Warhammer minis, and then when someone dies, you just eat them. I would love... I would love to fucking show up to a Warhammer... Commissar! Commissar! Bring me to one of your Warhammer meetups, and I'll have a chocolate army, and then when they die, I'll just eat them, and I, then we'll just see what people do. I'll be like the best PSYOP ever, Commissar. How'd you delete it? I took a shower today, Titan movie. What? <laughs> Actually, adventure films are the best, which I require to say about. <laughs> Chocolate Army is pure heresy. Yeah, Tyranid Sun. Be chaos. Or Slanesh. I don't know. Does Slanesh have an army? I don't know enough about Choco Hammer. Kami, bring me to one of your meets. It's important. It's important my Choco Army sees battle. This is so cool, Albin. Look how bright that is. That's so cool. I've never used one of these pigments before. You can also put this in, um, like, drinks to make your drink shiny. It's like pearlescence type situation. This is so cool, though. Okay, we're gonna do another one. I'm really sad that that one broke, but it's okay. I wonder if it tastes bad. Like, if it just tastes like, not, like, plastic, you know? Or like a, like a cover. This is so cool. They're so bright. We didn't bring the GT back to Chicago this year. Damn it! One day I'll just cause chaos. And then you'll have to deal with me. And they'll be like, yes, I am with this, this human being. <laughs> they'll be like, what the fuck, Cobb? You'll be like, and you're like, ha 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 I have to deal with this. I know you looked up some when we played Rogue Trader. I did, I looked up some lore. I didn't want to get, so like... 40k lore scares me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not too big into the grimdark setting, so it's a little hard for me to get into 40k. Um, Because at the end of the day, I do like my happy endings. Uh, but there was some stuff that was interesting. I liked chaos and how it works and, and learning about the Emperor. The Emperor Potek. It is sometimes silly. I do like, um, I think, like, the best silliest thing is the orcs, though, and how they believe things into existence is kind of my most favorite thing ever. This is so neat. I'm just so excited about how silvery this looks. It's making everything look silver, though. <laughs> it's so bright. The happy ending is when only 20 million people die in Warhammer. Yeah. Oh boy, this literally any character is sure as likable. Hope nothing bad happens to them. There's also like, and this is just the artist in me, there's also like a level of aesthetic I don't like with 40k. Which is like, like if I if I took the time to read, which I would like to read. Um, I would like to read the Kane. Sit, sit, not Citizen Kane. What What is it? And then Kane. I would like to read those books. I just, me sitting down and reading is very difficult. Alright, we're gonna move you to the side. If I don't touch them with my fingers too much, they won't get melty. Cal- Kaifus Kane? I would like to read those books because I've heard they be very good. Um, it's the sitting down and reading part that I struggle with. I need an audio book format. So the issue with audiobooks, because I've tried to listen to audiobooks like while I um while I draw, but then I get really distracted and I either don't draw or I don't listen to the audiobook. I think I'd have to be doing something mindless like driving or something, and I don't drive enough for it to make sense. I think if I was like traveling more, maybe it would it would work out, but. I'll, I'll probably get to read more in the future. It's just right now I'm very busy. Need more of that work-life balance. I also am getting addicted to, like, mobile games. So that doesn't help. 
How come it's tamper tempered, I assume, when it was in sword form? Ah, oh, yeah, I'm guessing it was. It was made- there was a little card that came with it. Oh, here, wait, hold on, let me get the card. One second. It came with a card, which I'm a big fan of. It was a card from, uh, from Ivan. Ivan sent me a card. So this is a... <laughs> this is the card that came with it, but the best part is this. <laughs> it's blank on the inside, but it makes a cock a doo 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 It doesn't stop when you close it. Oh no. It doesn't stop. Please stop. It's not stopping. Stop. Stop. It's not stopping. <laughs> I don't know how to stop it. How do I stop it? How do I stop it? Stop! <gasps> Wait, was it supposed to do this? <gasps> I mean... <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> the batteries are glued in! I can't even get them out! Oh my god! Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> the fucking batteries are glued in, this is some bullshit! What the fuck is this? I'm trying to save the chocos, I'm just trying to get the rooster out of here! Ah! What the fuck? This wasn't supposed to happen! How do I get this out? Holy shit, okay, hold on. I saved it. <laughs> oh my god, it's all over my lap. I didn't know that was a thing. I, got, I did it. What am I supposed to do with this? They're all over my chocolate. What the fuck? Ivan, did you know it did that? Did you... <laughs> oh. Oh no. I don't know what to do. <laughs> My chocos are- I shouldn't have grabbed all the chocos, they're melting now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm not- I'm not prepped for this. I'm not- I'm not prepared for this. This is outside of nominal functions. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I did not, Elmeo. Oh my god, Fumi, don't open your card! Alright, we're just gonna roll with it. It's fine, it's fine. Plastic never hurt anybody. Microplastics never hurt anybody. Oh my god. I wasn't even like, I didn't even know it did that. I was just showing you guys because I thought it was funny. I didn't... Get out of here, glitter. At least it's big glitter. What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit. Don't send one to kids to leave her alone! Leave her alone, she's innocent. I'm just painting my axes here. I made out of... out of... what is this? It's more chocolate. It's all melting. It's too warm, my computer's heating stuff up too much. Help me toward a new one. No, <laughs> you guys are so mean, be nice to kids too.
<laughs> it's like, like, there's so much. I think ramen's turning in. Like, there's so much more glitter in here that <gasps> that I didn't know. <laughs> It's fine. I'll just vacuum it off the chocolate. It's fine. We're just painting chocolate. I'm kind of sad because like... Ah! Oh, the, the greasy chocolate's making it stick to my fingers! Everything is a mess, absolutely. I have to clean this up before I go to bed tonight. Thanks, Ivan! Thank you, Ivan! I'm gonna remember this. I can't remember this. Sparkle hell yeah, please do, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, let's do the next question. I feel bad, I don't feel like I'm gonna... What is that? Alright, next question. Uh, what... <laughs> would you ever have a golden gay time or consider having one? Uh, they look tasty. I would probably try one. I've never had an opportunity to try one, though. They won't leave once. They're very big, like big glitters, at least. They're not small. No. <laughs> Everything's covered in glitter. I'm so sad. What is your in relationship quirk? What is my in-relationship quirk? What kind of question is that? What does that mean? I think if I gained a quirk during uh, a relationship, I think it would be like, uh, probably the power to like teleport. Is that a quirk in My Hero Academia? Does someone have that to like teleport? My fingers are so sticky from the chocolate half melting and now there's glitter everywhere! This, <laughs> this is the worst time! This is the worst fucking time! I'm having the worst fucking time right now! I just wanted to paint some axes! I'm drinking! Yeah, there's a- what is it? Like, a million? Yeah, I think, I like, teleporting. I think, because, like, you know, if you want to visit someone and you can teleport, it's, like, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I think my in, my in relationship quirk would be teleporting. I think is what it would be. I... <laughs> Fucking glitter everywhere. Look at it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to vacuum off my desk. The purple villain had the portal quirk. To be fair, uh, what's his name? Dobby? Dabby? Dobby? The guy with all the stitches and like the rotting skin and stuff? He had the coolest quirk. I can't get it off of me. It's stuck to me for- I'm going to forever be covered in glitter. I will forever be glitterized. Thank you, Ivan! I'm not letting you have chips in VR chat anymore. <laughs> I think we'll just make this metal. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna make- I'm gonna paint this with the stuff and then I'm gonna taste it. And see if it tastes different. Damn. Dabby is the same quirk as Bad Dad Fire. Oh, yeah? But his fire looks cooler. I don't wanna, like, touch it. It's so sticky. The dick chocolate's sticky. And I'm getting banned off YouTube. It tastes like glitter. That's how glitter works. A year from now, there'll still be glitter. I... You know, I opened that card before. Like, I opened it before. Like, I... That was, like, my seventh time opening that card, and it turned off. It turned off when I closed it. It didn't do it until I started streaming. He was, I am not a vampire. That's good to know, Fooey. Next question. What is something in someone's house that would send you running? Uh, dead bodies. Probably. I think. No, um, I think if I went to someone's house, right? What would send me running? I mean, if their house is just generally cluttered, I'm probably, like, because here's the thing. It's like, I'm, I'm... 
Yeah, a hoagie hoodie. Not a Hago hoodie, but an a hoagie hoodie. Um, I think, like, because I have a lot of clutter myself, which I'm trying to control. But I think if I went to someone's house and it was just, like, wrecked, I think I would have an issue with that. I was like, I'm trying to control my own clutter. I don't need to try to control someone else's clutter. I think. But the big thing is if you go to the toilet and there's, like, old pee on the toilet, that would send me running. Like, like... Like, if you go on the toilet and, like, look on the floor and then look on the little, like, nuts on the toilet. And there's, like, that yellow bit around them and it's kind of crusty. Like, that would send me running. Because that's old pee. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Clean your fucking toilet. Clean the outside of the fucking toilet. Also, the rim of the toilet. Holy shit. Clean the rim of your fucking toilet. Maybe you need a warrant. Get out of my house. Clean your fucking toilet. Don't even have that at work. What if it's a V pillow? I have a Fubi pillow, so I can't really talk. I'm gonna try this piece of chocolate though. Hopefully, let me get this one piece of glitter off, Ivan. <laughs> ah, oh. it's so melted. It's, it's apparently very warm in my office. Oh, I don't really taste the glitter though. Don't show the food pillow, she says. Oh no. Oh no, what do we have here? Oh no, is it a food pillow? Do I have a food pillow? With a hat? My food pillow loves me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a food pillow. <laughs> it's the only one that exists. It's mine. I think we'll make like a silvery star? Question mark? If I can get one without fucking glitter on it? I'm trying to get one without fucking glitter on it, how about? Oh my god, it's all melting. It's too warm in my office. I probably have to eat all this. I was gonna feed it to other people, but apparently... Well, now that it's covered in glitter, I probably shouldn't. I'm so mad about that card! Clean the toilet all the time with my hands. I'm assuming you wash your hands after. I'm guessing. Stinky garbage be booty. Yeah, it makes a good, like, uh, you know, like if my seat's not soft enough. It's very soft pillow. So sometimes I sit on it. <laughs> There's so much glitter in my lap. If I, if I move everything out, like my floor is going to be covered in glitter and I'm so sad about that. <laughs> Hopefully it's clean. Yeah, the pillow's pretty clean. But yeah, I think clean your toilet is a big one. That's a that's an that's an attention to detail thing, you know. Clean your clean your toilet. And also, also there's pictures of another woman in a house. I will leave. <laughs> that would be a very big red flag if there's like a picture of like like you know like a wife. I, that I would leave if there was a picture of like No, there's more glitter. No, get out of here, you son of a bitch. What if it's family? It depends. If it's like mom and dad, that's fine. Or like sister. That's fine. I don't even know where this glitter was come from. It's probably from China. China glitter. If I put the glitter on it though, or the, the powder on it, it's not it's not greasy anymore because the powder sucks up the grease. What about pictures of anime women? Depends. Depends on pictures of anime women. If it's like normal anime women, that's fine. But if it's like uh lutes and hentai and stuff, then I'm moving on. <laughs> You're not attracting anyone with your hentai body pillows, guys. Pictures of polite dogs? That would be a green flag. Pol having pictures of polite dogs would definitely be a green flag. Terry Crews, I guess that would be okay. I'd probably ask questions. Well, pictures of, her other, of my other brother. That's a little weird. 
It really scares them if it happens. <laughs> okay, but I have a girl's frontline poster. Okay, but is it? Let me ask you this. No! No! Did my phone just die? Hold on a second. No? Why did we die? Oh, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Okay, one second. Uh, let me, uh, just, uh, send you guys right here for one minute. And I'll be back. going on. Not sure what happened. That was a little weird. It just decided to die on me. But we're all good. We're back. Everything's fine. So. Too relaxed. Her feet hit the keyboard. Yeah, it's these feet flomping around everywhere. <laughs> Trying to hold on to the rose. They almost lost it. It's a bunch of framed mirrors. Okay, next question. My old roommate used to think that I was a cultist and I actually got investigated by ice once. Interesting. I have a photo of Jim Pickens. Uh -huh. Should I invite her over to assemble a Lego Star Wars Death Star together? No, 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 no. You save that for the homies. No, no, no. That's not girlfriend stuff. That's homies. You save you save the Lego's Death Star for the homies, my dude. You're you you good. She won't appreciate it the way the homies will. Alright, let's have a silver teddy bear. This one's already, like, fully melted, so... Let's just move him over here. And hope that the... Oh my god, there's glitter stuck to it. No! No! Only if you want base women. Okay. One glitter. <laughs> it's, it's, they're so melty. It's apparently warmer in here than I thought it was. I don't know if remelting chocolate like untempers it. I don't know if that's how that works. There's so much. There's so much glitter everywhere. This was the worst time for that to happen. All right, back to what we we're doing. What is your ideal first date? I think we I think we touched on this one already. So we can probably skip it. Lots of walking and talking. Can I take you in food? We had a romantic date. Smile. See, this is the one I'm 99.999% sure was all Spark. Who is now sleeping. So the answer, if someone would like to report back to him, is uh, yes, but you're going to be the third wheel. So thank you for paying for me to have a date with Fubi. Smile. All asleep. Also, yes, you would have to retemper it. Well, that explains a hell of a lot. I guess I'm eating all this chocolate tonight. <laughs> I'm just painting it all silver because I think it's neat. All simp. Third wheel, all oh man. All third wheel. <laughs> hey man, he asked a question. I simply answered it. How do I get my hoodie back after a breakup? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so normally... You would have to uh, can, uh, reach out to the person who has your hoodie. And if they refuse to give it to you, you would then contact the local authorities and let them know, hey, you know, I'm trying to get my personal property back, but they're refusing to give it to me. And then they would escort you to the premises of where your personal property is. And then um, they would uh, help you resolve that case. If the person is still having issues or refusing to show up or things like that, because you can't get like a warrant or anything for that, um, you would then have to take them to small claims court for the hoodie. 
So, next question. <laughs> How would you ask someone out? Oh! I won't give it back. I'll pee on it. I don't know what's up with girls in hoodies. Bro, what? How do you how do you not know? Hoodies are like prime. Bro, a good a good dude hoodie is like the comfiest thing. It's like a it's like a protection thing, you know? Hoodies have become the new uh 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 like coat thing. You know how like men would give the their lady a cloak to keep them warm and stuff? Like that's the hoodies. Hoodies are, are, are prime. Hoodies are kind of a, a way of a girl saying like, yes, I am yours. I feel like a hoodie is more uh, symbolic than a, than a wedding ring, personally. A hoodie is like a notch on a bedpost. Yeah, I guess kind of. That's true, too. I wear leather Sherpas, but still. You know, I feel like a girl probably won't steal that. Which probably is a good thing, because I don't think leather Sherpas are cheap. I'm just gonna have a bunch of silver stuff, but I'm hoping that it prevents melting. It won't prevent melting, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping that it will not only prevent melting, but keep the FUCKING GLITTER OFF! <laughs> Jeffrey, what the fuck? How did I step one? Step one, don't. They'll reflect the heat. Yeah, that's a good point. See, Commissar is very smart. He doesn't want to be my mod anymore. So I'll stop complimenting them because he's a traitor and a bastard. But it's fine. I'll remember this betrayal, Commissar. I'll remember it. I'll remember it. Well, if you don't have better pizza cakes, I'm just, I'm just saying. Just say, come, sir. I'm sorry your taste in pizza is so bad. You want to ruin a good opportunity over it. Uh, so how do you ask? How do you ask someone out? Um, so that's that's a difficult question. My approach would probably be like, hey. Um, I think you're super fun to hang out with. Do you want to go get coffee or whatever? Or do you, like, hey, do you want to go hang out? That would be my thing. I think you just go, hey, do you want to go hang out? No. Who's going to look you in the general direction and scam off? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I don't ask people out. <laughs> I'm too shy to ask people out. Ugh. Imagine if Fubi's attempt would be like, get in the van or else. Yeah, that seems accurate. Psh, square. It takes courage to ask someone out. Be prepared for the outcome. Hey, you wanna go meet in the Hoo Hot parking lot? Yeah, I still owe Gamma an ass beating, so. No, I don't know. Like, I think. It's hard because obviously, like, there's always the risk of rejection. But at the same time, like, you have to remember, right, that if they reject you, that's a good thing because that means you guys weren't meant to be. You know what I mean? Like, like, let's, let's think about it this way, right? Like, they say yes, right? But they say yes because, like, they feel bad or something like that. Like, there's... Oh, it got worse. It's like herpes. Um... They say yes for whatever reason, but, like, they don't really want to go out with you. And, like, sometimes that can work in your favor and then they turn out to like you. But most of the time, it's just, you know, you're not compatible. So I think it would be better for, like, you guys to not... To realize you're not compatible from the beginning. Instead of, you know, wasting six, seven weeks. You know what I mean? Like, just because someone says no, it doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It just means that they don't... You know, you're not their cup of tea. Just because someone says that Cyberpunk 2077 isn't good doesn't mean they're right. It just means it's not their cup of tea. You know what I mean? You gotta remember that. 
You got you got to remember that because someone just because someone rejects you doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. It just means that you're not right for them. I must go to the gym and lift until I stop hitting myself. Oh, whoa. Hey, want to get the hoodie? Oh, I'm supposed to know if she wanted me to ask again. What do you mean again? Like, <laughs> like you asked, she said no, and you asked again? Something here is wrong with me, and I should revamp my whole life and personality because of what that one person said. Well, like, like we make fun of it, but, you know, and I'm like, I've, I've been in that situation where, like, someone says no, and then I go, holy shit, what's wrong with me? So, like, I get it. You know, I'm not going to hate on someone for thinking that way. But, like, you have to remember that that's not the case. That's not how that works. You know, rejection sucks, absolutely. But you have to remember that you're not rejected because... You know, they might be like, oh, you're too... You're too short or you're too stumpy or whatever. But, like, that's not... That's not on you. That's on them. You know what I mean? That's a their thing. That's not a you thing. So that's not... That's not something that reflects on you. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So like shoot your shoot your shit, shoot your shot. That's the term. Not shoot your shit. Don't shoot your shit at the people you like that will end in rejection one hundred percent of the time. Where do people even go to flirt these days? Is bookstores still a thing, or is it just bars now? Uh, I mean, yeah, no, don't use dating apps. I think it's just like. Personally, I think you should build, uh, like, uh, a common... Like, you have to go places, you know? And I'm not saying go to a bar, but, like, you can't just sit in your room all day and then expect someone to, like, jump out at you and want to date you. You know what I mean? You gotta go, like, go to the fucking game store if they have, like, Magic the Gathering night and you're into that, you know? Like, that's someone, that's some place where you can meet people, you know, if the library has events, if bookstores have events that you can go to on a regular basis. You know what I mean? Because if you go to like one thing, like let's say you go to the bar once and you don't meet anybody, right? And you're like, well, shit, I went to the bar, I didn't meet anyone, game over. Well, no, 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 you gotta go to something regularly. You have to build a rapport. That's how you build like a good relationship. You know, so... You know, or like the gym is a good one. Because if you go to the gym at the same time, odds are the same people go to the gym at the same time. You know, I don't know if... I, I know lots of people that have gotten success off gym. I I don't want people to talk to me while I'm at the gym. So I don't know for other people if that's the same thing. But some people have been successful at the gym. drive through not the best. But if you figure out her shift, maybe it could work. Don't ask people out at work. You seem to imagine anyone these days is going out on their own. I mean, like, if you want to meet people, you kind of have to be social. That's kind of part of the... That's kind of part of the thing with meeting people is being social. When my friend is married and they met at the gym and she asked him. See, so like, yeah, I don't know. It might just be me. I don't want anyone to fucking look at me. Do not perceive me when I'm at the gym. I do not exist at the gym. Leave me the hell alone. Let me listen to my Calliope Mori. I'm gonna do my set. Like, don't exist around me. I'm in the zone. Leave me the hell alone. That's me at the gym. <laughs> don't, don't perceive me at the gym. Although it's kind of an issue because I really wanted to take up bench pressing, but I have no idea how to bench press. So I feel like if I want to start bench pressing, I'm going to have to talk to somebody and that's the worst. Going out alone is rough. I mean, like I said, you don't have to go out alone. Go to like events. You know, if your local game store is having a D&D &D night, go to that. You know, like, yeah, you're alone showing up, but there's... You're guaranteed to have other people there with the same interests as you. Even if you don't find a date, you at least can find some friends. You know what I mean? You just gotta, you gotta look at Facebook or the newspaper, whatever the hell people do nowadays. Charity events is another good one.
But yeah, if you if you want to meet people, you have to go out and meet people. You know what I mean? You can't you can't stay in your room. You're not gonna meet people. <laughs> Shut up, Ivan. Or LARP herpes, apparently. Go with the boys. Imagine not having the boys. I mean, you don't need the boys. Boy, I feel like, and no, I can't, I can't speak to this because I don't have the boys. I'm not a boy with the boys, but I feel like boys would uh, make it harder to find girls. <laughs> That's my thought process. I'm just painting these all silver as we chit chat. Although, oh shit, it is super fucking late. We sh <laughs> okay, let's let's move on to the next question. I didn't realize it was so late. Anxiety. <laughs> God damn it. Anxiety of a dick gives me gas. What do I do? Take gas axe and uh, drink lots of water. Oh, she saw the time. I did. I was having a good time. Oh, we're back to the beginning. Oh, we did it. We did the whole shtick just in time for me to realize what time it was. Fucking awful confident for someone with no boys. I know. I don't have boys. I don't know. I don't know. Like, you guys would have to answer the boys question. I don't have boys. I'm gonna finish painting this heart, and we're probably gonna call the stream, because as much as I'm having fun talking to you guys, which I am, I do have to work tomorrow, and I'm also going to have to clean up all this glitter before I go to bed. Thank you, Ivan. Shut up, Ivan! <laughs> Shut up, Ocean! Yeah, he does. There was something I was gonna do after stream, too, and I forgot. Which is even worse. I don't remember what it was. Probably eat all this chocolate because it's just gonna freaking melt. Maybe I can get it back in the fridge. Without glitter on it. That's gonna be the hard part, is the glitter. <laughs> the fucking glitter. Also, I forget, boys. Do you even have girl tea? I'm offended that you even asked that question, Arcus. Are you assuming I have no friends? Are you sitting here assuming that I don't have friends, Arcus? If you forgot, it was probably totally important. It probably was! I mean, you know just as well as I do how much I forget important things. When the rooster didn't stop after she closed the card, I knew it was good. Good plan. <laughs> I was offended because Arcus is right. Well, you are an anime girl, Nate. You guys are so mean! I go to events with the group, being an established group and welcoming the solos in during events makes solos happy and that is nice. See? Robo knows what's up. Uh, no, I don't have- but to be honest with you, I don't have girls. <laughs> uh, I don't like hanging out with girls so much because they tend to cause a lot of drama. I used to have, uh, girl- girl- girlfriends, as girls like to say. Friends who are girls. Uh, but, uh... Again, they cause a lot of drama, and, uh, you know, one by one, they weeded themselves out, so. I have, I have, uh, a best friend, who is a male, who, uh, likes males. <laughs> so we are of the same liking. She hates us, Fubi. My god. I am, well, and I have a vo- I, well, Fubi abandoned me, so it's a little rough with Fubi. You know, she straight up ditched me. Just left me alone. In a in a double wide trailer by myself with no furniture. Just left me. A double wide, no furniture, and a cat. Two cats. Yep, just ditched me. Just left me. They're all alone for a whole week. Yep. The double white had mold in it. it. Had black mold in it. We play 4D chess with each other. Yeah, I'm not about that life. I I did my time with the 4D chess. I'm not about it anymore. All right, but yes, unfortunately, as much fun as I am having, we do have to call it a night because I do have to work tomorrow. A nice mold should have sold. <laughs> Ew. Big stonks. Yeah, it was a skylight that was leaking. And no matter what we did, the uh, landlord didn't think it was an issue. So, <laughs> as landlords do. Yeah. 
Let me put a lid on this before I forget and cause a whole bunch of mess. It's not fine for four hours of sleep. Yeah, that's what about I'm gonna be working with. It's free water. No, it's not free water. Next week is Twitch. Yes, guys. Um, I'll be if I don't get banned off of uh, YouTube tonight for um, putting peen on YouTube. Uh, I will be streaming YouTube on Thursday. We'll be doing a free sketch. And then um, we'll be back on Twitch for regular streaming. I might do a couple YouTube streams here or there. I don't know yet. I don't want to totally abandon YouTube. Uh, because I did put in the work to grow here. So I'd like to not totally uh, abandon it. But regular streaming will be back on Twitch. Which is twitch.tv slash Valkyrie underscore illustration. So if you're new... Um, and found me for, through YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch if you want to keep watching the stream. And, uh, yeah. You can thank YouTube for me switching back and their TOS uh, change. <laughs> yes, thank you guys for coming. I hope you, uh, I hope I, I helped a little bit on this Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, big work. Big work hours. Yes, yeah, so all the fun uh, chicken redeems and stuff will be back, and I'm sure you guys will be happy with that on Twitch. But I hope, I hope you guys had fun. I hope uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do about this glitter. But yes, I had very much fun, and we might do another. These streams are really fun, so we might do more of these. Too bad I won't have channel points. Damn. But yes, I will see you guys uh, Thursday. We'll be doing a free sketch. So if you've been doing the sketch alongs with us, uh, bring your own reference. And we'll kind of just do like a free sketch. We'll do like a sketch along thing. It won't be timed or anything like that. I will do that. And then after that, it's my birthday stream on Twitch. I'll be opening presents. I'm doing a merch drop, which I'm super excited about. It's a couple people already got merch, which has been great. And we'll be playing uh, games with chat, so. Can you give us some guides on what reference to pick, like, each type we did before what? Um, I think you should pick whatever you're comfortable with. Um, it's mostly just testing, uh, part of, part of being an artist is being able to test your own bounds, so you should find something that's challenging but not too difficult. We did some merch already available. Uh, a couple of people got, um, a head password. To check the merch, but no, it'll be available during the stream, so. Oh, it's coming. Uh, the mods did get access, uh, prior access. <laughs> Thanks, that doesn't help at all. But you, you can figure it out. Find, find a pose that's interesting for you. Find something interesting. Yeah, I will see you guys then. Very excited. Very excited to head back to Twitch. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to get everything set back to Twitch, but we'll get it working. Why you call me sad? But yeah, thank you guys for coming. And I will see you next time. Bye.